week two of cycle three, hands-on science. We're talking, we're making a water drop lens today. So today we're gonna test how lenses affect the way we see. So we're gonna learn about how our eyes work. So what kind of questions might you have if you know that we're gonna be talking about lenses? Why does seeing through water look different than seeing through air? Have you ever noticed that? If you're like, when have you looked through water? What are times that you've looked through water? How does it look different? How do glasses and contacts work? Do you have any idea? Do you know people that wear glasses? Do you know anybody that wears contacts? Why do people wear those things? Do you have any idea how they work? What have you learned already about glasses and contacts? These are different kinds of lenses. What have you learned about them already? Our magnifying glasses? How do our brains get information from our eyes? We learned this last week. Do you remember that word? How our brains get information from our eyes? Do you remember those pathways? It's the nervous system, nerves. Nerves take them to our brains. So we still need to find out kind of what the parts of our eyes are and how they work. So what do you think will happen when we hold a drop of water over paper? What do you think is going to happen? Do you think the words will change? Do you think they'll be blurry? Maybe smaller or bigger? What do you think? Why don't we find out? Here's our materials for today. Let's see what we have. We have a ruler, a pencil, wire cutters, wire. This is floral wire, but really any kind of thin wire that you can bend would work fine. And then I have a bowl of water and I have some um, text that we can look at. You could use a newspaper or a magazine, whatever you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut a six inch piece of wire. It does not have to be exact, but it's such a good practice to learn to practice measuring things. So we're just, we're going to do our best. I'm going to lay it down here on the top. I'm going to try and stretch it out. And then I'm going to use my wire cutters here, make a six inch piece of wire. I'm going to set those aside. Then using my pencil, I'm going to loop and twist um, one end of the wire around the pencil to try and make a circle. So see how I'm, I twisted it around. Okay, once I've got it twisted around pretty good, I'm going to slide it off. And now I'm, I want to dip it in the water, so I'm going to bend. I'm going to bend it just a bit so that I can dip it down in the water. Okay, so if I dip it in the water, I get my paper ready so that I get a drop of water on it. I don't know if you can see. You can see it. There's a drop of water stuck in the middle, kind of like bubbles. So now I'm going to just gently look at it over. Oh, you can see in the video happening it looks if I go closer it doesn't really change but the further away oh right in the middle it looks smaller it really distorts the letters and I can see it more clearly if I close one eye and look with just one eye at what's happening so towards the edges it looks bigger and then smaller towards the middle Let's see if you can tell. Mm, oh, my water droplet fell out, which is fine. I can just do it again. <clears throat> if you are at home or at CC and you want to try wrapping it around something fatter and see what happens, you could totally do that. Maybe like your finger. Your finger's fatter than a pencil. I think it's going to just be restricted on how big of a circle you can make where the water will still stay in. So... Yeah, that might be too fat. I'm not getting water to stay in. But you could still try that. It is absolutely fine to just trial and error. But we can keep using this. I lost my water on my little end, so I'm just going to get my water droplet again. And I'm going to keep examining it. And look at all the things you can see. It kind of makes a little tiny magnifying glass. So we can talk now about what we observed. What did we see when we used that little magnifying glass? 
So in conclusion, have you ever seen a fish in a round fish bowl? Our water droplet distorts the image of our letters much like a bowl makes a small fish look huge. It's magnifying them. How does that work? The droplet is curved outward, just like a magnifying lens. Outward curves are called convex curves, and we use them in eyeglasses and contact lenses to help us see better. If a lens curves inward, it's called a concave lens, and it makes things smaller. Scientists usually use a combo of both convex and concave lenses to help us focus in on plants far, planets far away with our telescopes. Our eyes also have curves inside that do the same thing. Our cornea and inner lens both curve just enough to focus light to a spot at the back of our eye called the retina. The retina that sends a message to our brain through the optic nerve and our nervous system. How can curved lenses focus or change light? Well first, light rays hit an object like our paper. Then the rays reflect off the paper to our eye. If they hit a curve in between, like the water droplet, the rays are bent or distorted. This is called refraction. Scientists have been able to create just the right refraction with the curved lenses and glasses and contacts to help improve our vision when we need it.